Hello and welcome to my first tutorial on Visual Basic. Um, today we are going to be going through uh, creating the UI for your browser in Visual Basic 2008. First of all, you're going to want to download Visual Basic 2008. You're going to want to go to the website Microsoft.com Express Download. That's Microsoft.com slash Express slash Download. And you're going to want to download Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition and choose your language English and click download and click save file I'm not going to because I already have it but you know um, I will be posting a link to that in my YouTube video though most likely anyway now let's open up the Microsoft Visual Basic wait for it to load up create a new project and windows forms application just go ahead and name it application windows application one and let's go ahead and resize this a bit you might want to make it much bigger but I'm not gonna make it too big for this video because I don't like when it gets too big and this is your this is your IDE. You can go ahead and change the text from Form 1 to whatever you want to call your browser. I'm going to be using Premistalon. And then see it changes up here, so now your browser has a new name. You can also change the icon that shows up right here. I'm going to be going over that in another tutorial. And you can also change the never mind um okay first of all let's add a panel no not a panel a a tool strip located right here add it right here it'll automate it'll be docked or you can dock it right over here and docked top and then let's add a panel and let's dock that as well you can also dock them at the bottom if you want to but I usually use the top now give yourself a button right here and go ahead and title it whatever you want I usually use go or search but I'm going to be using go and resize that a little bit more and now let's give a URL bar or in other words, a text box. Oh, come on. Let's make it much bigger because I doubt any URLs are going to be that small. Or close to that small. Or not much URLs. There we go. And now you can add yourself a a label right here. And this is where you put your favorites or bookmarks. You can call the label whatever you want. I use either I either use favorites or bookmarks. I'm going to be using bookmarks. And it changes now you want to add a separator so no one clicks on that on accident along with your buttons you can add buttons these are going to be your favorites 
You can also add a drop down button. I'm gonna delete some of these. Okay, now you can put your you can put these as your favorites. This will be or, like one can be change the text to youtube.com. The other one can be something like google.com. And then your drop downs you can have like my site youtube.com slash xylogeist and then my other site projectrandom.org now uh, and newgrounds.com newgrounds.com ah what did it do Sorry about that. Newgrounds.com. Dot com. <clears throat> okay, so you have those. Nothing fancy. And now you want to put in a web browser. And then you want to dock the web. It'll. Mine's already docked, but you can dock it as fill. And it fills up the middle space. Middle space. But you can also um, undock it and just get it to fill up whatever you want. I'm going to do that because I want to say who created the browser myself. So you can put in a label down here and say that it was created by you. I'm going to be putting coded, compiled, and created by Xylogeist. And you can put that in the corner or wherever you want. Or if you are, ma are releasing a lot of different types of this browser, if you're ex a very experienced browser creator coder, then you can make another one and say what version this browser is. I always start out with version 1.5. Not sure why, I just always have. So there it is down there. And now we want to give this web browser a default URL or a home page in other words and we're going to be using msn.com you can do something else if you want like Google or YouTube or something else and now let's go ahead and debug it and as you can see it starts out on msn.com just like we had put it, you can resize it and everything. Oh. Well, of course, you're going to make yours bigger, so that way people won't have to see whenever you resize it. It's going to be gray all in here. So you're going to want to make your thing a little bigger. I said but I'm not because of I don't want to do this tutorial and then you're going to have to extend this out but it doesn't matter if you have this docked then you won't have to but I don't have it docked now that we've got what's it doing now that we've got that cleared Or you could just uh, fill, do this on fill, and then make a panel down here for this. I'm not going to, but that's a good idea.
anyway. Um, so there you have it. There is the basic Q, the basic uh, UI for user interface for your browser. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to be going over coding for your go button, your favorites, and another tutorial is how to upload and make icons for your favorites and for this right here. And I'm also going to be going over other various scripts once I excel in coding. Anyway, I um, hope this tutorial was helpful. Signing off.